how do you use your pocket hole jig to drill holes or pocket holes in lumber that's thicker than an inch and a half? It's quite easy actually. Um, you take your standard drill guide here and for an inch and a half when it's in the actual pocket hole jig, I have the K4, uh, this one right here. So when you put this in an inch and a half where it should be, it's about an inch and a half actually off the bottom. Um, funny that. So when you put this in here, like so, right way, wrong way, like so, and go to an inch and a half. Uh, that's an inch and a half right there. I'll tighten up a little screw on the back. It is roughly an inch and a half off of the base. So the way I figured this out. Place your bit of wood, or place your guide there. You go up an inch and a half, right about there, and you clamp it on. Clamp on from the sides, but as long as you leave. Um, make sure it's square. So, um, as long as you can get the drill in, because this is four by four, and it's holding itself in place, and then you can just drill. Um, one thing to make sure is that that inch and a half that's for 4x4, four four, that means that you're using 2.5 inch um, Craig pocket screws. So just make sure that whatever setting you're putting it at, um, that's the way you do it. And this is probably the best, you know, unless you can get bigger screws or you want to chance it with just a regular wood screw, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, I'll put our video together on why I wouldn't recommend that and the troubles I've had doing something like that and I've split wood and it's just been a mess so I just try and stick to the Craig pocket hole screws. You actually want, um, how this guide works is it makes sure that the screw comes out the centre of the wood in the instruction manual, that's how it tells you, so you get the strongest joints possible. So when you're doing a 4x4 four four, it's not going to come out in the middle of the wood but it's going to come out closer. Um, so. You could go further up, but then the screw won't be long enough and it'll throw things off. So this is the easiest way I've found to do this. Um, I have tried using the, this here and, you know, trying to clamp it on and hold it, but just taking this little uh, piece out. You do get other pieces in, um, like add-ons. You can add on bits. Um, what's it called? The portable base. And the portable base looks like it has a clamp, so you can do this here. But this works perfect like this. So, yeah, let's drill a couple holes and we'll um, see how they come out. There we go. See two screws. See the. See we can see in the bottom there. Yeah, they turned out great, and they'll come out somewhere, kind of there maybe. So that's how you um, use your pocket hole jig or components in your pocket hole jig um, to drill pocket holes in larger pieces of lumber that are over the inch and a half. Um, I need to go and get some more screws because I've run out of screws actually, um, so I can't continue on with the current project. But hopefully that was handy for anyone who was um, questioning how to do it. There also is a a little screw hole there, so I'm assuming you can screw um, a screw in there to hold it in place. I think it worked fine with the clamp as long as the clamp is square and not at an angle; it doesn't move. So just make sure your clamp's out of the way and you can fully utilize.